I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. On Wednesday, the House Oversight Committee held a hearing about gun manufacturers in the United States. Several gun advocates and CEOs of firearm companies testified before the committee. At the beginning of the hearing, Representative Carolyn Maloney played an emotional video montage of survivors and family members of mass shooting victims, sharing their stories of grief and PTSD. The video ends with the fiancé of a victim from the recent Buffalo grocery store shooting asking, quote, What are you going to do to make sure your products don't get into the hands of a white supremacist? After we announced this hearing, the committee heard from victims, family members, and survivors of gun violence from across our country who wanted to share their stories and their questions for the gun industry. I'd like to play their video now. Let's please uh, play the video. Hi. My name is Nicole and nearly 10 years ago, I survived the Sandy Hook shooting in my elementary school when I was just seven years old. Still to this day, I struggle through the horrible aftermath and PTSD. Our family was at the parade when I saw the shooter emerge above a second floor roof line and point his long gun at my family and those around us and rapidly fire. I threw my wife and son behind a metal park bench to save our lives. After the shooting stopped, I saw the father of Cooper Roberts stand and scream for help, while my wife saw their son Cooper convulsing on the ground, shot through the abdomen and spine. As we ran, clutching hands, not knowing if someone was going to shoot us and if we were going to live or die, my son lost a huge part of his innocence. He is not the same person. He's broken. And every day, my husband and I are heartbroken as we try to help him get back to the carefree, sweet little boy he was before this happened. Hi, I'm Jasmine Gossetis. I'm 17, and I lost my little sister, Jackie, at the Rob Elementary shooting in Uvalde, Texas. This picture was taken on her first communion on May 10th. 16 days later, she was shot and killed using a Daniel Defense Air 15. Hello, my name is Ana Rodriguez. I lost my daughter, Maite Juliana Rodriguez, on May 24, 2022, at the Rob School shooting. Maite was a sweet 10 year old girl who dreamed of attending Texas A&M University in Corpus Christi to pursue a career in marine biology. Might that was robbed of her future due to gun violence. My fiance was shot and killed on May 14th by a white supremacist man shooter when he went into Taps to buy our son a birthday cake. The shooter killed my fiance with a Bushmaster X-15 rifle. He also had with him a 12 gauge shotgun, a bolt action rifle, full body armor, and a car full of ammunition. My name is Fred Guttenberg. I am the father of Jesse and Jamie Guttenberg. On February 14, 2018, I sent my two children to school to learn safely. Towards the end of that day, a gunman showed up at my daughter's school killing 17. My daughter was one of the 17 killed. These people. I want to know, what are you doing to stop these shootings? Do you know how many children have been exposed to gun violence in schools since Columbine? What are you going to do? It's okay. To make sure that your products don't get into the hands of a white supremacist mass shooter ever again who will take a child's father away. It's okay. 